So our next talk talk is from Wisdom, and uh, Wisdom is a software engineer with considerable experience in mobile development, a native uh, Android and iOS development, Flutter Dev, Jetpack Compose, documentation, technical writing, community management, and Firebase developer. And uh, Wisdom's talk will be on uh, testing, and uh, he'll explain it in his talk. Would you like to take over, Wisdom? All right, thank you. Yeah, hello, everyone. Yeah, um, I'm an Android engineer. I work with Servix. So um, today we'll be talking about automating Firebase Test Lab using using Bitrise in Android development. Okay, so let me just share my screen. Okay, if you see my screen, just let me know. All right, guys, see my screen? Yes, we can All right. see you. All right, thank you. Okay, so my topic today is automating Firebase um, test lab. Sorry, what? Okay, sorry. All right, so definitely you might want to know what is Firebase test lab. So Firebase Test Lab is a cloud-based app testing infrastructure. It's one operation you can test Android or iOS app across a wide variety of uh, devices and device configuration. So you see how nice and beautiful it is. So it doesn't just work on only Android apps, it also works across iOS apps. And also when you come to the um, cross-platform apps too, they can also work very fine. And you can also see the results, including the logs, the videos, and screenshots in Firebase console. So you want to know the importance of Firebase Test Lab. One, it gives you suggestions on how to improve your UI. So when you build your app, you upload, and it scans through your app, it will give you, it will give you some suggestions to help you improve your UI. And secondly, it gives you screenshots with, with the suggestions. So it's not like you just drop the suggestions with text. So to make it uh, much um, understandable and clear and concise, so to give you with a screenshot. So you see, let's say you build a very simple app, let's say um, a normal Android Hello World app that just have the text Hello World. So it will screenshot that screen with the Hello World and give you a suggestion underneath that to make it much easier for you to understand. So it gives you the performance of your app UI. So to tell you how your UI performs, it will also you will, you will get test results more quickly when testing with them, the virtual devices. It supports continuous testing integration, which we'll be talking about today. And you can run tests with so many devices on the go. So this is for Firebase Test Lab. Now we have the Firebase Test Lab step in Bitrise. So Firebase Test Lab step helps you to automate the UI, the UI testing process in Bitrise. And you might want to know what um, a step is. A step contains the code that performs the build tax. So for example, you have your, Blink clone, your, your Git clone step. So what it does is it clones your Git repository at the start of a build. So you see how it is. So how Bitrise Firebase Test Lab steps works. So first you have your Android Studio where you build your app and you push. So when you push either to Bitbucket or you push to GitHub or to GitLab, the next step it goes down to Bitrise. Bitrise sends it to Firebase, sends it back to Bitrise and Bitrise will sync it and the next you get a result. So that's how it works, how simple it works. So the guide to set up your Firebase test lab will be tries. So although I would not be going on how to set it up in, in your Bitrise to start up your Bitrise in Android. So I'll just go straight so you get to understand a few of the steps. So let's say you click on this. It will take you to this section where you have your build, your workflow, your add-ons, your teams, code, and settings, and a few other options. So you just go back to your workflow and in your workflow, you have to search for Android UI. So you have to search for um, virtual devices testing. So this is the particular step that helps you to do that. So one thing you have to note is it works with the app build. So you, you have to 
have this Android build before this Android build step will have to be before the virtual device testing step. So when you're done with that, you save and you push from your, your you push from your Android Studio down to your GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket then to push it down and synchronize it and give it the results. So if it's successful, you get this page. If it's not successful, you also get this page, but not the green, you have the red one. But the red one is, is also normal. So when you're done, when, when you get the success story here, so you click on the test report. Then from the test reports, you now see your Firebase test lab step here. So there you have to see a few of informations, like the suggestions and if you're letting to see there. So thank you. So what I would do right now, I would head over to Firebase platform. I will, not, I will not build from scratch, so I will not take so much time. So just head over there, then you just see the test I've written before the results and you get to see the suggestions yourself from there. All right. Okay, so now this is test I've written before. So you click on this view. So just give some time to open up. All right, so this is the page I you saw a few minutes ago. So although things have changed, we have the trace and okay, we have the trace now. So you click on the test report. Then you get to see your Firebase test lab. So you click on the Firebase test lab, you click on your test cases. So you have the test cases here. You have the performance to see how your app, is, your app is performing, the CPU performance, the memory usage, and the network. So you click on the video. This video is just a walkthrough of your app, how the Firebase test lab crawl your app to get the suggestions and screenshots. So you can click on the video. So this is how it crawled my app. Okay, so the next one you click, click on the screenshot. So these are the screenshots. After crawling the app, these are the screenshots the crawler got and screenshot of the whole app. So you have your artifact and you have your, your logs. So that's it, yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you, Wisdom.